Hi, this film is about bipolar disorders. Bipolar means an illness which has two poles. To find out more about this, we have an expert with us. Are you ready? Here she comes. Hi, bipolar disorder has two distinct presentations. One is that of a depressed patient. The other presentation is an excited psychotic phase called mania. The patient can present with any of them. But in the past history, an episode of the other presentation, mania or depression, helps in clinching the diagnosis. You can make the diagnosis of a manic episode if some of the following features are present along with the central feature of elevated or persistently irritable mood for more than a few days. Delusion of grandiosity, increased energy and activity, rapid speech, decreased sleep, lack of concentration or distractible, hallucinations with a grandiose content and aggression. Similarly, you can make the diagnosis of a depressive episode if the patient has features of depression like low or sad mood, loss of interest or pleasure, etc. A small reminder here, the depressive episodes in the bipolar disorder are the same as depression, which has been dealt with in another film in the series. And in case you're wondering about hallucinations or delusions, then please watch the films on acute psychotic disorders and evaluation of the patient. Okay, and back to the expert now. Thanks, that was helpful. In the long run, either the manic or depressive episodes may dominate the illness. These episodes may be frequent or may be separated by periods of normal mood. In severe cases of bipolar disorder, hallucinations or delusions may occur in both the phases. Sometimes, a patient may present with manic episodes without any history of depression. In such cases, the diagnosis of bipolar disorder is made on the basis of predominant mood component of the symptoms. The management begins with educating and counseling the family and when possible, the patient about the illness. They must be informed that unexplained change in behavior or mood is the most characteristic feature. Effective treatments are available for this disorder. Long-term treatment can prevent future episodes and manic episodes can become very disruptive and dangerous if left untreated. During the depressive phase, a close watch has to be kept on the patient, particularly if he or she is suicidal. During periods of mania, avoid confrontation, prevent harmful or dangerous acts. Seek hospitalization in case of severely disruptive behavior. Pharmacological treatment has three different possibilities. For a patient presenting with acute or first episode of mania, the treatment is same as that of acute psychotic disorder. If the diagnosis of bipolar disorder is established, then the patient should be treated with mood stabilizers along with other treatments for depression. Antidepressant medication may not be required for mild to moderate depression. Can I interrupt here for a minute, please? If you want to know the treatment of acute psychotic disorders and depression, then please watch the films on these two topics in the series. I promise you will find all your answers. But I have a question too. What should the diagnosis be of a patient who comes in with an acute episode of mania with previous history of only manic episodes and no history of depression? Interesting question. The answer is that if the episodes are of mania, that is with mood component or exalted self-image and other features, then the diagnosis is bipolar disorder and not acute psychosis and we must treat it with mood stabilizers and antipsychotics if needed. Among the mood stabilizers, the drug of choice is lithium. However, it requires strict monitoring of serum lithium levels due to potentially dangerous toxicity. Therefore, carbamazepine is relatively a safer mood stabilizer if adequate lab facilities 
for serum lethal levels do not exist. The effective dosage range of carbamazepine is 600 to 800 milligrams per day in three divided doses. Start with a low dose of 200 milligram per day and gradually build up to its maximum dose with an increment of 200 milligram every week. If you prescribe medicines, then you must also be aware of the side effects. Hey, wait a minute, please. The side effects of antipsychotics and antidepressants are discussed in the films on acute psychotic disorders and depression. So here, we'll focus only on mood stabilizers. Okay, please go ahead. Thanks. Among all the mood stabilizers, lithium causes a serious toxicity with symptoms like tremors, diarrhea, nausea, and confusion. So be very careful in monitoring the serum levels of lithium. The most common side effect of carbamazepine is neutropenia. So before starting carbamazepine, patients' blood counts, TLC and DLC must be done. Patient must be watched for recurrent infections, which may be due to neutropenia. The blood counts must be repeated after initiating the treatment. Carbamazepine must be stopped immediately if there is a fall in counts. Finally, you must consult a specialist if there is a severe risk of suicide or disruptive behavior or significant depression or mania continue even after 12 weeks of treatment. So, that covers bipolar disorder in a nutshell. Thanks and bye. I hope you have got a good idea of the two poles of the bipolar disorder by now. If there is any confusion, please watch the film again. And do not forget to watch the other films in the series. All the best. See you later. Bye-bye.